Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris Lee and you are now watching United Destiny Entertainment Tutorials Online. Hey, what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment Tutorial video. Check this out. This is video segment five. In this video, I'm just going to cover applying more effects, uh, specifically EQs and reverbs to the vocals. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you guys how to use a, a compressor properly for the vocals when... Uh, you actually want to compress a vocal or I sh and I also showed you guys how to take a group of vocals that you want to compress together and send them to a main auxiliary output so you can apply that one effect to that output and master control all those vocals at once. So let's go ahead and jump into this video segment. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button right now and make sure that you check out all the other videos that I uploaded before this. Um, it's kind of pointless to watch this video without watching those videos first uh, just because it shows you what to do from beginning to end in that video segment and you don't want to miss any of these tips because it is going to make your quality A1. All right, so let's jump into it. So like I said in the last video, I went ahead and applied uh, that compressor. So let's go ahead and hear it. <clears throat> she a bad girl. She a bad girl. She gonna make a nigga let me see you twerk it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. All right. So the next thing that I want to do is not that I need any uh, more EQ than that, but I just want to make the vocals just a little bit brighter. So I'm going to go ahead and go to default so I can start off uh, with just a little bit. Now, for EQs, there's a lot of ways that you can explain this stuff to people, <clears throat> but it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, we hear between 20 hertz and 20,000 kilohertz, okay? This frequency spectrum range or this parametric EQ is exactly that. You're going to have a lot of your lows. You're going to have a lot of your low mid frequencies, you know, between, uh, I would say, uh, 100 and and. 100 hertz or 500 hertz, you're going to have a lot of your mid-range hertz from 500 to 1K. You're going to have a lot of your high frequencies or high mids between 1K and, and 4K or 5K. And you're going to have a lot of your high frequencies, uh, you know, going up from there. So mids is 1 to, you know, 4K. High mid frequencies, you can push that a little bit to 4K to 8K, anything over that. Let's just say it's high frequencies, okay? So now in a process... Um, you want to use this frequency spectrum or this EQ to take out unwanted frequencies or, or, uh, yeah, un unwanted frequencies or particular things in your vocals that you don't like harmonic certain things like that. So if you got vocals that are really muffled nine times out of 10, that means that it has a lot of low end or a lot of low mid frequencies that you want out of your vocals. So to get that out of your vocals, you would have to cut that. Okay, and the same thing with the high frequencies in the mids. If you feel like your vocals are are muddy and they don't they don't pack the edge or the top end that you would like, then go to the mids or the high mid frequencies or the high frequencies and boost it some. You have to use your ears. This is just not about going in here and you know moving a bunch of turning a bunch of knobs and typing in a bunch of numbers. You actually have to use your ears. Okay, so with the high pass frequency. Basically, it's exactly what it says. It's going to let the high frequencies pass and fil filter out the low frequencies, which means it's going to cut out the low frequencies. Same thing with a low pass filter. It's the exact opposite. It's going to let the lows pass and cut out the high frequencies. That's why you see this curve here, okay? Same thing here. That's exactly what it's doing. So in a process of mixing with the EQ, what you want to do is do something called a frequency sweep. Uh, and that's basically picking a point. And kind of figuring out what frequencies don't you like and basically taking that frequency, boosting it so it can be really loud and then realizing you don't like it and then cut it. So let's find a muddy area that we just might not like. First thing I like to do is apply a high pass filter. OK, and I usually cut out anything between 60 and 80 hertz or below. So I'm just going to go with for the uh, purposes of this video. You really want to use your ears, but. Let's go ahead and do that. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She gonna make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. 66 hertz uh, work for me. So now we're gonna boost the low mid frequencies. 
and see some if we can take out some of that muddiness. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She gonna make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerking. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She gonna make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerking. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but but to me, between 220 hertz and 260 hertz is a really muddy area for me when you boost it up. So what I'm going to do is 244 and 247. Between those two, it tends to bother me most. So what I'm going to do now is since I'm at 13.1 dB of loudness because I want to exaggerate it, uh, I want to go ahead and cut that out. So I'm going to take that to negative 2.0 right now. She a bad girl, she gon' make a nigga want it Let me see you twerk it, I'm about to push up on it Now if you notice, that made the vocals a little bit thinner And it took, a, it took out of that muddiness Okay, that's what you wanna That's the results that you wanna get when using a high pass filter And cutting out some of the low mid frequencies Now you don't want your vocals to sound too thin So what you could do is if I don't like the way that that sounds I can go negative 1.5 Okay, and then I can also use frequency point two to add some of the body back. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She gonna make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. So you see the EQ working. She gonna make. So for me, around 228 to 240 is an area that I want to boost uh, dB a little bit to give me some of that body back, okay? So you don't want it to be anything too drastic. Uh, just give it enough body. So that's what I'm going to do right there. The next thing I want to do is just add a little bit of the mid-range and just a little top, top end for clarity uh, or a little bit air. Now, it's usually the air is good. When you're doing singing for females and warm vocals, you would kind of boost the high frequencies to add a bit air to the vocals to give it some of that top end, okay? And if you notice, I'm going in order from one, two, three, four, five of the frequency spectrum because I'm using my ears. Now, I'm going a little bit slower for the purposes for you guys in this video, but just use your ears. She a bad girl. She a bad girl, she gon' make a nigga want it Let me see you twerk it, I'm about to push up on it She a bad girl Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that Now I just want to add some of the the high frequencies and the high mid frequencies To go ahead and give it just a little more edge and body Or a little more top end for that crunch She a bad girl, she a bad girl She gon' make a nigga want it let me see you twerk it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. Now notice I boosted that so much to so I can actually hear what the EQ is doing. Cause sometimes you can't hear it with little subtle DB movements. Girl. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She gon' make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. Now when you boost that frequency range uh, so high in that particular spot, I actually like that spot, but too much of it makes it uh, distorted, makes it um, uh, very unpleasant to the ear. But if you like it, you just want to boost it in that area just a little bit. But if you boost it too much, you're going to get a lot of clipping and distortion that you don't want in your mixes. Now, in that particular spot, you can kind of move the frequency um, keyframe around it just to kind of find that sweet spot for you. So now I just want to add some top end, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I tell you what, I'm going to leave this one here and I'm just going to pull just a little bit of the high frequency and just. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. She going to make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. 
Now I boosted that around <clears throat> 7,800 hertz, uh, a kilohertz, just because I want to give it a little top end, but not enough to where it's going to be causing uh, bad sibilance or S sounds and, and making it really unpleasant to listen to, okay? So now let's hear it without uh, the EQ and compressor, okay? She a bad girl. She a bad girl. This is without it. Make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it. it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. She a bad girl. So if you notice, it was uh it was a very subtle, if your ears are trained enough, it was a very subtle uh change to give it a little crunch, a little edge, a little brightness to the vocals made it a little more punchy and up front in your face. Without the EQ, it was a bit muffled as well. Listen. She a bad girl. She gonna make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it. With I'm it. about to push up on it. She a bad girl. And you can really hear it in the S sounds with the push uh, where the EQ is working because the, the S sounds... Uh, actually were brought out and that's what that's kind of what you want without getting that distortion sound you want the s sounds to be able to be uh clear enough to where you can hear the the ending of those vocals or your your um your pronunciations of your vocals okay she a bad girl. all right so now that we got that you want to make sure that you save often that's a major tip and i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and stop this video right now with the next video uh, I'm going to jump into uh, applying some reverb effects and maybe some delays. Um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going into depth with the reverbs and delays, but I'm going to explain uh, to you how it works and show you guys how it works. Now, I hope that this video helped you guys. If it did, please give me a like uh, and subscribe to this video if you haven't already. Make sure that you go check out the other videos and stay tuned for the next video. I promise you that these videos are going to help you become a better engineer when it comes to mixing music. Stay tuned for more.